One of the principal features of the Burstner Elegance i910G is its use of the revolutionary Thetford Indus system. So welcome to my vlog all about the Thetford Indus system or as one of my lovely subscribers Frank Beveridge calls it, welcome to the bog vlog. I once read that the measure of civilization is the distance that humans have put between themselves and their own waste. That is also very true for the caravan and motorhome sector. Back in the 70s we were using what was commonly called the bucket and chuck it. Then we had the invention of the porta potty. It meant that you no longer had to stare at your own waste while you were using the loo. The next revolution was the cassette toilet, where the toilet came actually built into the caravan or motorhome. Thetford have now revolutionised the market once again, in their own words, uh, with the introduction of the Indus system. Now the first thing I want to say about the Indus system, as fitted to this beautiful Burstner Elegance, is the fact it is more than just the toilet. The Indus system is in fact the whole water system. So we're talking fresh water, grey water and black water. The fresh water tank in this Burstner Elegance i910G is 140 litres. The grey tank is 110 litres and the black tank is 50 litres. So in this video we're going to look at how the Indus system actually works. We're going to look at the user experience, including using the app. And then at the end, I will give you my opinion of both the pros and the cons of the Indus system. So let's get cracking straight away with how the Indus system works. I'm sat in the garage of the Burstner Elegance i910G. These are the three cassettes you need for the Thetford Indus system to work. A is the grey waste, B is flush weight, flush water and C is for the black tank. And what the system does is it treats the grey waste so that you can keep it a little bit longer in the tank, it doesn't go smelly, but the system also uses the grey waste to flush the toilet. Hence it puts some flush chemical in it, flushes the toilet, saves your fresh water and then the obviously the black tank chemical goes in the black tank and it stops any odors and also helps with the breakdown of any waste matter. This set of cartridges costs either 30 euro or 30 pounds. You have to buy them directly from Thetford at the moment because this system is so new that your average accessory retailer is not stocking Indus at the moment. So you do have to order them from Thetford, but you can do that from the app. Speaking of the app, let's go back into the motor home and I'll show you how you pair up the app, the information you get from the app, and then actually using the loo. Like almost anything these days, you need to have a smartphone to control the system through an app. My personal experience of pairing my smartphone to the Indus system was absolutely flawless, very, very quick and straightforward. All you have to do is you press the two buttons for a few seconds, blue light flashes to say, hello, I'm looking for a Bluetooth connection. Look on the Bluetooth on your phone, bing, Thetford Indus, pair it up and that's it. Didn't even ask for a pairing code. So that was really straightforward. Let me show you the app. Just my phone goes off at just the right moment. So in this app here. So you can see here it says we've got, didn't put my glasses on, did I? Five days left of off-grid time and what the tank levels are. So I've got, I need to fill up with fresh water. Um, Burstner didn't give me a fresh water hose. They gave me a 10 litre watering can. So that's 14 trips to and from the tap. Thank you for that, Burstner. Um, Grey water. We've got 
25%. Black water is about half that. So yes, I, I emptied the system day before yesterday, but I was unable to use it for 24 hours because of a problem with the door. I couldn't get into it. Here we've got chemical levels here of how much we've got left in the cartridges. But we've also got a few other bits and pieces here, which I'll show you. What I like here is settings. You can have, you have nighttime mode because sometimes the system kicks into life without any intervention and that's purely to stop solid waste sort of uh, settling and fermenting in the tank. So sometimes it, it, it jiggles things around, but it stops doing that between the times you say, so you don't get any unexpected pump or system noise. Um, you've got long flush and short flush. That's the two blue buttons on the toilet there. So obviously short flush for a pee, long flush for a poo. And you can either have it pulsing to save water or a solid flush. Now you can see I've switched off the pulsing flush and I've put the uh, long flush on the maximum permitted. Allow flushing with grey water, yes. And enable overflow protection, yeah, you don't want the system to, uh, to overflow. Also in the app you can order chemicals. This is only in Euro, um, if you're in the UK it will tell you to contact Thetford themselves. Now my experience of the app is is very positive. I've only got one little gripe. It says here off grid time. My personal opinion is that should be changed to days until you need to empty the system because I mean I can't survive uh, what's it five days on there with zero fresh water. Another interesting thing is as you can see I'm using grey water capacity at twice the rate of my black water capacity and when you think about it 50 litre black tank 110 litre grey tank well I've got washing up I've got showers I easily can plow through 20 litres of grey water in a day with washing up and showers 20 litres plus that's just one person um, I imagine that would be 30 litres with two people because you're still washing up with the same amount of um, water but even two people would not manage to use, if you're using 30 litres a day, you would not be um, producing 15 litres of waste per day between you. So I feel that the tank capacities may need to be jiggled and Thetford do tell me that you, the uh, manufacturers can specify different sized tanks for their systems. So obviously this is one of the first Motones to be fitted with Indus and that's just a tiny thing. I find that I run out of grey capacity far far quicker than I do the black. Let's have a quick look at the the box itself. Let's have a look at the loo. Now one thing that the Indus systems allows is it allows the manufacturers to actually put the loo anywhere. So as you can see we don't need to be fixed to a location by the wall. So this is the uh, the pedestal itself. It's all very straightforward and this is the golden rule of Indus folks. Nothing else down the toilet except for the three P's. P, poo and paper. No sanitary towels, no cotton bards and certainly no wipes. But then you wouldn't be putting any of those down any other toilet and polluting the environment, would you? So, that's my <laughs> lecture over. And I've opened the app to show you how fast it, it goes. So I'm going to allow for the pulsating flush and then show you a short pulsating flush because you've got the, uh, the short flush here and the long flush there. And then can you hear that in the background? That's the macerator.
and there you go. So, can you hear it still doing its thing in the background? And that's it. Now if we switch off the pulsating flush, and I'll give you a long flush, let me see how that goes. So this is the long flush button. But one thing I'll tell you folks right now is if you are using the toilet at night, this blue light is very, very bright in your eyes at night. I think Thetford will probably appreciate the feedback that there should be a light sensor on this and that blue light should be much, much less bright at night to stop disturbing you because we all know that blue light keeps you awake. Now just before we finish the section on actually using the Indus, you may notice that there is a third button on the control panel and this opens up the little blade at the bottom of the loo. And here's my top tip folks, if you are in here for a, for a serious job, uh, I found at first, when I was first using it, I found I had difficulties keeping the bowl clean. But here's my top tip folks, if you're in here for uh, you know a few minutes say, open up, open up the, uh, the blade. In true blue piece of tradition, tradition here's here's some toilet paper I prepared earlier lay some toilet roll in the bowl I mean some people do this anyway actually I've used fairly large large lengths there lay some loo roll in the bowl probably instead of two sections of three maybe three sections of two um, do what you need to do the loo roll will drop down with the uh, deposits and that will help keep the bowl clean. There you go. There's Andrew's top tip for a clean bowl. Okay, that is using the system. Now let's go back outside and talk about emptying the system. Okay, so that is using the system in the motorhome. Now what about draining the system? The appeal of the Inder system is the fact that you only have one outlet for both grey and black tanks and you don't need to touch anything which is really good and you don't need to sort of supervise it you don't need to empty cassettes or anything like that the way it works is you have the i suppose you call it the outlet thing here you untwist it and as you can see by untwisting it I don't even need to touch the hose. The only thing I need to touch is this handle. Then what you do is when you're parked next to your waste outlet drain, you put the you put this on the ground and you lift up the handle. So you pull that, lift it up, and it should stay up. Has that stayed up? There you go. So you just pull that, if you look at the bar here, it stayed up, you put that on the ground, you press the button in there and it takes about two minutes to empty both tanks and what it will do, first of all it will empty the macerated treated black water and then it will flush everything through with treated grey water so there should be no smells and everything should be nice and clean because it's flushed through with cleaned grey water when the system finishes. Now I've only used this once in anger and we had a broken handle here which meant it didn't stay up which meant I had to let, hold it while it was discharging and while it wasn't the most pleasant experience I mean we could still drain the tanks and also I can confirm there was no smell however at the very end of this video, when the night before I give this motorhome back, or the day I give this motorhome back, that's when I'm going to have to try and empty the tanks again with a proper working outlet thingy do it what jobby thing here because this has been replaced with a working model now. The other one 
I think was broken by abuse from maybe previous users. And then when you've, when you've uh, discharged, you still don't need to touch the, uh, the hose or anything. You pop it back in the dispenser. I'll bring the camera for a better view. So you pop it back in its dispenser and then you just turn it. like this and it will bring the hose in. Now what's very interesting folks is that this handle only folds one way. Don't make the mistake I did. Now as you can see the, the bar is up and the handle will not fold. You have to make sure that the handle is released and then without any effort at all it will fold down. The other thing to note folks is that the handle cannot fold this way because of these uh, protrusions here. It can only fold this way. This is a mistake I made. I was trying to lower the handle after lifting the blue, the blue button and that's locked into position and that's probably what broke it from the previous user. That's my suspicion. Make sure that is released and it will go down like that. As we're going to finish the video with the final emptying of the Indus system, because that's the last thing I've got to do before I hand this motorhome back, we're going to go through sort of some frequently asked questions and, in my opinion, the positives and the negatives of the Indus system now, and then we'll finish the video with the final emptying. So again, excuse my notes because I don't want to miss anything. I have given Thetford a pretty hard time asking them all kinds of very awkward questions and I hope I address your concerns and questions here. So a few facts and the first fact folks is that at the moment Indus is not septic tank safe. The cartridges can only be purchased from Thetford. They are not available from accessory shops and also Thetford own the patent to those cartridges so they cannot be produced by third parties. Thetford say this is to protect the Inder system because obviously the additives, they've worked many years on this and the additives aren't just there to take smells away, they're there for lubrication, maintenance and all that kind of stuff. Even in an emergency, the cartridges cannot be refilled, so you cannot just chuck some Aquachem in the, uh, the black cartridge if it's running a bit low. They cannot be refilled. Thetford claim that with average use, and come on, what is average use? Um, that the cartridges should last about four weeks. Now, my use in less than a week would bear that out. I've been using the loo and the shower and I would say yeah that sounds pretty accurate about four weeks. An average of four weeks is what you can expect to get from the cartridges. When you get low on additives the app will alert you to order some more from Thetford. Now it's a concern of mine and it's a question that I couldn't get a straight answer for. What happens if there's no additive left? apparently the system will not block but I couldn't get confirmation that the system would just stop working you know would it just keep working but only use fresh water and be really smelly I couldn't get that answer from Thetford so you I don't know whether what happens when you run out of additives if you run out of additives as far as Thetford is concerned the app reminds you to order some more and you get some more additive what happens if you don't have additive? Does it work and just work on water and be really smelly? I really don't know. I would imagine it stops working and then of course you're back to a bucket and chuck it. Now as far as environmental concerns go, as I've said, it is not septic tank safe. However, of course, it is water efficient because the macerator, the efficient flush, and of course flushing with grey water all help reduce your water consumption. And that of course is really attractive when you're running to and from a tap with a 10 litre watering can. Thank you, Bersner. Now Thetford also claimed that the environmental impact of the Indus additives is comparable 
to the impact of chemicals you would use cleaning your toilet at home in the same time period. That's what they claim. We come to the uh, positives and negatives later on. Don't forget too that you will be reliant on the app. You need a smartphone to operate the system because the tank level indicators in the motorhome are disconnected. You can only see your tank levels now in the Indus app. So now the advantages and the disadvantages of the Indus system, starting off with the advantages, of course, you get far longer away from having to drain the tanks off. So you can get far longer off grid if you can make 140 litres of fresh water last, but you're not emptying a cassette every two or three days. The emptying experience itself is seamless and pleasant, or it should be, hopefully, fingers crossed, when we come to do it with proper working equipment that hasn't been abused, because you've only got one thing to do, which is put the outlet on the drain, you click it open, press the button, it does everything. You don't need to park over the drain, release the valve, let the grey water drain when you, you know, we can all smell it, can't we, the grey water. And then while you're doing that, you've got to get the cassette out and waddle over to the cassette toilet emptying point and empty that. And all that, you know, there's just one thing, you just put the thing down and you don't even need to touch the hose, which is superb. Another advantage too, of course, is it's a very water efficient system because of using the grey water to flush the tank. Another advantage is it's going to allow manufacturers more imagination when designing motorhome washrooms because now they're not having to put the toilet by a wall to be able to use a cassette. They can put the loo in the middle of the motorhome if they like. I'm not sure I'd want that, but you know what I mean. You can have a far more flexible bathroom arrangement now that you're not tied to having the actual pedestal next to the bulkhead. And then finally, one of the reasons I really like it, and I know you can get this feature on cassette toilets, but you don't have to bend down and open a blade. Now I know you can get cassette toilets with automatic operating blades, but this is already included in the Indus system. It might sound a small thing, but you know, if you've got guests coming, you don't have to give them the whole induction to the toilet as you normally do. You just say, yeah, one button for a long flush, the other button for a short flush. That's all you need to tell people if they're coming to use it for the first time. So I like the fact that it, you just don't have to bend down and open a blade. So they are the advantages of the Indus system. But now let's take a look at some of the disadvantages. The first one, of course, being the fact that it is not septic tank safe. Now, Thetford are hinting that they're working on a green alternative, but they're not promising. So fingers crossed there will be green alternatives in the pipeline coming up for Indus. But right now, if you are buying a brand new Burstner Elegance i910G, you will not be able to visit places where they are reliant, where the sites or the emptying facilities are reliant on a septic tank. For me, that's really important because, you know, I live in Newest. We don't have mains drainage in Newest, or at least we don't where I live, and the sites I know all rely on septic tanks. Therefore, you have a fantastic motorhome, but you won't be able to go to all the great, really rural places with it because you won't be able to discharge your system. So that to me is a huge, huge disadvantage within this at the moment. And fingers crossed, Thetford will come to a solution and find greener alternatives. So you will be able to use Indus in areas like where I live, where sites and emptying facilities are reliant on septic tanks. Another disadvantage I feel with this system, it's not borne out, but you will be tied in to Thetford. There's no two ways about it. Thetford own the patent for the cartridges. You can't refill them. Third parties can't make them. You have to order the cartridges from Thetford. Part of the reason that you can't go and buy them in the accessory shop is because it's just such a new project and there isn't the volume there for accessory shops to bother stuff stocking them. Hopefully 
as more and more motorhomes are fitted with the Inter system and it becomes more popular, then the cartridges will become available in accessory shops. But right now, you have to order them from Thetford themselves. And in the UK, that means actually phoning them up and ordering them on the phone. Now, of course, that's OK if you're at home. But what about if you're on the road? What about if you are on a long tour and you've managed to secure a tourist visa and you're doing six months in Europe and you're on the road and then you start running low on chemical? What do you do? I mean, you're going to have to be tied to one place or you're going to have to go to a site where you sort of become friendly with the, the management and say, oh, look, would you mind taking a delivery for me because we're getting low on Indus additives? I mean, I could do it here at Camping Bella Augusta because they're lovely people, but some sites will not take deliveries for people to, for people staying on site. So that is something I really want to be, you to be aware of. I feel that you really do need to stock up on your cartridges before your trip and carry a good excess to make sure you've got enough cartridges to last you for the entire tour without running out. Because I think to have the stress of actually having to order and obtain cartridges while you're on the road is not a great thing. Now another small issue, and it's not really worried me at all, but just to make you aware folks, the downside is you do get increased noise with the Indus system because you've got a macerator running and of course you've got the, uh, the pump running as well, the water pump. And that also runs, say for example, if you're having a shower or you're emptying the washing up water, that will also kick in and uh, help the, the water drain away so you get you have increased noise with the indus system i personally don't find it too intrusive now concerning thetford's claim that the amount of additives or chemicals you would use with the indus system because it's so efficient are is comparable to the amount of products you would use cleaning your toilet at home no i'm sorry i don't fall for that i buy biod a toilet cleaner because I'm on a septic tank at home and one little 750 milliliter bottle will last me a couple of months so I sort of give the loo a squirt once a week and obviously use the brush uh, yeah and I'm sorry if you're using the, the Indus for a month and you're getting through three of those cartridges that's three times the amount of products that I'm using on my loo at home so sorry Thetford I don't fall for that one so finally, folks, just to sum up before we go for the final emptying, fingers crossed it's going to be OK. The Indus system is obviously, I feel, is going to be divisive because I've seen that already in the, the first look at this Burstner Elegance. Some people said, hurrah, every motorhome I want from now on has got to have the Indus system because I want to be able to spend at least five days off grid. And then you've got the other camp which is saying, oh my goodness, I do not want a complicated system that's reliant on additives and ties me into one company like Thetford. So there's quite a divide there. And really, they are the f I've given you the facts that I know at the moment and some of my opinions, and it's down to you. What would you prefer? Would you like a really clean emptying experience, go longer between emptying, or would you like something that relies less on chemicals and pumps and macerators and so on. It's really down to you. But one thing I've thought about with the chemical use is back in the 70s when we were using a bucket and chuck it in the caravan, we used to pour a ton of toxic chemical into that bucket to disguise the contents in there. And I feel here we are 50 years on and I think Indus is not just a massive leap in civilization from those days, but even the three cartridges of Indus additives are probably nowhere near as damaging as toxic or, and as quantitative as the amount of nasty toxic chemical we used to put down that bucket and chuck it in the 70s. So we have progressed, folks. We've progressed 
very far in terms of motorhome civilization with the advent of the Indus system. Yes, I feel we are using more additives than you would use with other systems, but you don't get the smell, you don't get the unpleasantness. So really it's down to what you are comfortable with and what you would choose. So that is the Indus system, folks. Now we're going to jump forward a couple of days and my final emptying with the motorhome and let's just hope it all goes well. Right, okay folks, as you can see by my app, I only have half a day of off-grid time. My grey tank is very nearly full, but you can see it does go up in very small graduations. It doesn't just go up in 25%. And uh, there's a, a locator on the app and it tells you where the nearest locations are, where you can empty the Indus system. So we've come to the DCC Camping Park in Kale to try and empty the system. Um, I filled up the grey tank in about four days, four and a half days, maybe five. So I think to say it has seven days off-grid capacity probably does in the black tank, but not so much in the grey tank, but of course they can jiggle those tanks around in future builds of motorhomes. The other thing to note folks is you cannot drain off just the grey tank. You have to do the entire cycle and drain the entire Indus system. So you can't just drain off a bit of grey water and keep going. You have to do the whole thing. But do remember you can get a wheeled tank. So if you are on site, you don't need to keep moving your motorhome to the emptying point. So anyway, enough waffle. Let's see how we do. So. Remove my brand new handle. No need to touch the no need to touch the um, the hose. That's now clicked in the up position. Press the blue button. Hello. And let it do its magic. And that's it. It's doing its thing. It's working. Happy days. Happy days. This is the future. Hands free. And all I have to touch is that handle. And no smell. No smell whatsoever. My, that really did need draining out. Okay, it's just it switched itself off. I'm going to obviously have to chop this and I'll put the time either here or here or here of how long that's taken from start to finish. It seemed to be quite a while. So I replace the handle back in the holder, give it a twist. Make sure it's facing the right way. Do not lift the blue button. Ah, oh, put it down first. I didn't unclip it. Unclip it, put it down. And there you go. Job done. Clean, hands-free. Yeah, uh, pretty much the future. Really is. As I say, you've got my reservations about the system, but it does do what it says on the tin. Maybe not lasting quite as long. In normal use, you may have to be a bit more frugal with your water to make it last the full seven days. But yeah, pretty good. Okay, folks, so I hope you enjoyed that video all about the Thetford Inder system. Now, looking at comments to my first look at this beautiful Beresna Elegance, it does seem, it does seem a little bit divisive. Um, some people saying, oh, but you're tied into Thetford, too much use of chemicals. You've got other people saying, it's so clean, it's so civilised, it's the future, I want it. 
so with that in mind i would love to hear what you think about it and as most people already are i would just ask that if you do leave a comment about it to please obviously be respectful to people whose opinions may differ to your own now i do think personally that a lot of people who are sort of on the fence about it I think if you use it, and it, it is so easy to use, the, 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 the disposal process, um, I think that might sway a few people once they've used it, who are maybe on the fence or maybe not too sure about it, but it's so clean and simple to use and civilised, so I, I, I really do like that aspect of it, but you know, it's not septic tank safe. You're reliant on Thetford and you're reliant on a lot of chemicals and it's quite complicated. So there you go, folks. That is my little video all about the Thetford in the system as fitted to this beautiful Bursna Elegance i910G. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to Bursna UK who have sponsored this vlog without influencing the content. Please do check them out. I'll leave links to the Bursner UK website in the description below. And also please do give them a follow on social media because there's going to be a Bursner Roadshow in the UK in October 2021 where you will have the opportunity to see an elegance for yourself in the flesh. And there will be staff there from Bursner in Germany and you can do what I do and give them all a jolly hard time. No, they're really nice people. So pop along to your Bursner Roadshow. Details on Bursner UK's social media, for which, links of which I will leave in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Really do appreciate your support. If you did enjoy this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There, what did you reckon about the Indus system, Dougal? What do you reckon about it? Are you impressed? Are you excited? Is this the future? Are you excited about the Indus? Are you excited? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? He never smiles. <laughs>